Great, uh, my name is Mpo Di Loro. Um, I'm a BMW Car Club Gauteng committee member. This is our third concourse de elegance that we've had at, um, at Kailami at the M-Fest. The first one that we had here was in 2017 and then 2019. And now we've had another one here in 2022. Um, we've had a couple at, at Silver Star Casinos and, and at other, other venues. Uh, today we've got an assortment of vehicles here, all old school. Um, uh, this year we, we didn't have any modern vehicles entering, but it's always better that way. All vehicles that, that look like they just got off the showroom floor, but then some are 30 plus years old. Uh, we've got Icon, we've got M3s, we've got 325 ISs, we've got um, M Coupes, which is rather known as the clown shoe, or affectionately known as the clown shoe. Um, we've got a, a, an assortment of, of display cars as well, some turboed, some not. We've got bagged cars as well, so we've got a nice uh, arrangement and an array and an assortment. We've got our sponsor, uh, sponsors, I2 Insurance, who, who are in conjunction with Les Michelis. Uh, insurance and yeah we're looking forward to having an awesome day here today at the M-Fest we're looking we've got uh, three different classes that everyone can enter it's data data is like all the stock standard cars um, sorry day elegance sorry uh, which are stock stock standard cars as they came out the freeway at the uh, of the showroom we've got show and shine which is a mixture of anything which is made, mainly the guys that have just started entering concourse um, and then we've got um, the course for the the class for the guys that have that are previous winners so those are the really really experienced guys and then we've also got a class for the guys that have um, BMWs they look very nice but then you could find that they've got aftermarket mags and sort of aftermarket uh, products on them as well so we've got something for everyone here today and yeah we're looking forward to having a, a nice day today uh, I too have, have sponsored our judges with uh, nice white coats so they are around with earbuds checking underneath the car wheels engine bays you name it like each and every last inch of these cars is going to get looked through and then that's how the, the, the scoring works so each judges, um, each group of judges will score each car and then they'll hand them over to our chief judge who then tallies up the scores and based on the score overall we'll have our winners in each class. So we don't have um, someone who's extremely experienced going up against a newbie. As, as it were. So yeah, um, some of the cars got professionally detailed, some of the guys do it themselves. It's all about the fun and, and uh, getting the whole family involved to, to winning the, the, the concourse and just participating actually. Some of the guys are here to display their cars, which we, we welcome at any point in time as well. There's an array of display cars which also look excellent and most of the time you'll find that the display cars eventually become concourse cars which is what we like and that's the BMW Car Club family. Uh, I'm Elvis here in the car club, um, basically the car club's podcaster and yeah today we are in day two of the M-Fest. Uh, this weekend has been very epic. If you were not here, you missed out on a lot. Hey? 
And what I like about uh, what's happening here is that it's everything BMW. Um, we do have regalia that we have. Uh, let me first talk about the merchandise we have. It's one of the best merchandise that you find in the market and it's good quality, authentic and the best price. And then um, today's events that we've been we, we going through, we've got the, the race car series, the M Performance Part race car series. Uh, which is very entertaining. We've got one of the fastest drivers in the in the in the country, basically, if not in the world, because I I believe BMW has the best drivers. Um, and then another event that we have had uh, today is is the concourse, and it's where you find the classic cars. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vic Pardal, Laris Wap on F Console, and we are here at BMW M Fest number 2022. Man, I'm here at the concourse competition where we've got 40, 50, 60 year old cars that are looking absolutely immaculate. Even better than the day they came out of the factory, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surrounded by legends like the iconic 325 Amma Kusheshi. Man, those cars are fetching a million rand now. We got 535s in the building, classic M3s, E36s, 4x46. We've even got a very clean 325 Amma Cabra layout here. You know South Africa? I gotta tell you, one of the reasons I'm a car guy is that South Africans are passionate about cars. I grew up surrounded by people who love cars. I've had the chance now in my adult life, my man, to travel to the world. I'm a judge at the SEMA show. I'm surrounded by hot cars there, but guess what? When I walk on an everyday street and I'm driving on an everyday road across the board, across the pond in the States, in Europe, we don't see as many modified cars as we see here every single day. If you're driving to work, you will see at least 50% of the cars on the highway with an aftermarket wheel. That makes South Africa one of the biggest collective car cultures in the world, man. And because we got such a big car culture, we got a lot of people passionate about the BMW brand. We got a shout out to the BMW Car Club, man. They've really united the BMW enthusiasts, especially from an aftermarket point of view. Whether you like modifying cars or keeping them stock, everybody comes together and they learn from each other. You know, I always say to the elders, one day, God bless you, you know, you're going to be called up to, you know, God's heavenly angels and the army, right? But pass on your knowledge. Because even though there's a lot of young people that aren't car people, there are a lot of young people that are car people. So pass your knowledge on to the next generation, man. We hungry to learn the old tricks. You know, some people can tune and like, you know, do flashing off software on the new cars, but nobody knows how to tune an old school side carburetor, you know, like an old school Weber. And that's the knowledge we need from our elders. So shout out to everybody for coming together under one roof. Big up to BMW Club Archer, man. We appreciate you. Hi everyone, welcome to Kailami. We're back here at Kailami at the BMW M Fest 2022. We were last year in 2019 with the M Fest, and it's it's just awesome to be back here. So thank you BMW South Africa for hosting us. Uh, it's an awesome privilege to be back here at Kailami. We've had a couple of challenges here and there, but it's such an awesome awesome track and venue to be at. Um, you know, we, we've, we've raced here every single year since the reopening of Kailami um, in 2016, if I recall. Um, in certain years, we've done uh, two events a year. So this year, we did the Kailami 9 hour in February. And now, October, we're back here at Kailami racing for, uh, in the M Fest. We had uh, an extremely hot day yesterday. 30 odd degrees um, we were sweating in our cars but you know what it's 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 fun just being out on track unfortunately we had uh, two incidents um, someone spilled oil on down the mine shaft of all places and someone uh, went off and actually put his car on the roof and unfortunately another another car also went off a uh, suspension uh, uh, and control arm failure and the car veered into the into the barrier but 
just it's great that these cars are built so well according to our rules and regulations that they walked away not, not a scratch they're back here today all fine but yeah the cars are looking a bit second in those two cars so yeah so yeah it's a bmw's uh, m 50 years this year and we had 50 cars entered for this bmw m fest we're down to 45 now a few cars with issues uh, obviously the two cars that got uh, written off um, but yeah it's great to have such a big field i can't remember when we had 50 cars on the field uh, or on the grid rather it must be must be years that we've had such a big field here so yeah thank you to to everyone in the bmw m performance parts race series all the guys that have entered i uh, hope you guys all had a great weekend and thank you to all our sponsors it, without them bmw like bmw m performance parts without uh, without them we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today so a big thank you to all our sponsors thank you How's it going guys? Yeah, so uh, I had an awesome weekend. Um, obviously, Kuali, me and my brother Rick were very tight. It was 0.0017 of a, of a second. Uh, we had a good dice. Uh, I dived him down the mine shaft. We had a small, uh, a, a small bumper bashing, but it wasn't bad. I mean, rubbing it is like, is like racing. And then I had to retire my car after lap five because of the prop shaft donuts starting to like, break. Um, we came in. Fairly jumped onto it uh, with the team. I want to say thanks to to Adlik and the, and the guys that came through to come and to, uh, to come through and support me. And uh, I'm lucky to my uh, to Rick in the like second race. His car just turned off, but uh, racing is like racing, and we all ha have our days. But yeah, thanks. M, M Fest is always a, a, a like lovely e event, and we will look forward to the next one. Thank you. Good, uh, good day today, good day yesterday, in total good weekend. Car went flawless, it was a case of just managing temperatures uh, with the heat that we've been having. Big thanks to uh, Sav Speed guys, they built me a machine of note. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the next race in a couple of weeks time. Thank you. We started off with a very, very difficult weekend. We only had about two laps in practice, three in quality, a lot of mechanical issues, fuel surges, um, all in all tough. Finally came together in the, in the second race. The guys from Fast Development worked very, very hard all night last night. Got it going, the car was superb. Ah, it was an amazing feeling. The car was just running smoothly. And thanks to, thanks to Freddie and his guys. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Um, so Kailami started a little bit uh, uh, disappointingly. Craig, uh, my father, unfortunately had an accident down the mine shaft, uh, slipping on some oil. So uh, we really try to recover our, our spirits after that. Um, uh, first uh, qualifying went out surprisingly well and I was able to, to put a lap time together that I was able to break out into, uh, into Class C. Uh, I opted to take a penalty um, and start at the back of the of the field for uh, for the first race. Um, it was able to make up until uh, second place in class D in race one. And race two was fantastic. Uh, basically raced uh, me and myself, Shane, um, from the back of the pack and uh, eventually got through to first in class D and it was an awesome race. Had to keep Shane away, uh, did my best, but it was an awesome race.
race one went very well. Um, came in, Cole was unbelievable, qualified in third place. And was taking a little bit easy just to get used to the track a little bit. I haven't been here for quite some time. And uh, the first race, I managed to win it. Um, Cole was unbelievable, we had a safety car, still got in front and won that second race. Started last and uh, I had to overtake, I think, 10 cars and uh, managed to do that and win the race. So, yeah, thank you very much for BMW Club and, uh, yeah, that's it.